Morning, morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad therein. I'm dipping my foot in the waters, guys, today. And um, just walking along the beach. We're just taking our time, recognizing what a wonderful place we have here in the Bahamas. And um, the only thing I'm missing is some fried fish with some pancake. <laughs> or some gobba duff, if you guys understand what I'm talking about. And so, maybe you, I said, one of you guys said, Prophet, I want to see more of this beach. <laughs> I like those beach broadcasts. And so, I'm going to give you some more beach broadcasts. I'm going to give the people what they demand, amen? They said they like when they see me out in nature. And so, I'm letting you guys know that God is about to do something very tremendous for you today. All of you who are on, because we're going to deal with the sand the sea, and the Holy Ghost today. Amen? Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look how beautiful God gave this wonderful land to us. I can tell you the last time I was on the beach. And now I've decided that I'm going to enjoy this before before you never know. You might pass on the glory, God, God forbid. But we want to enjoy this. We want to enjoy what we have. Amen? Take advantage of it. Can you guys see it? Are you seeing what I'm, I'm seeing, guys? The wonderful creation of God. Look, look, what God. look what God has done. Look what God has done. And He's going to wash away your problems as well. Amen? Tide come, tide go. Let me tell you something. Bad situations don't last. They come and they go. Just like everything else in life. God is about to do it suddenly for, for a few of you all on here who can believe and stretch their faith connect their faith. I want to show you all that everything in life is a circle. What goes around comes around. My God, my God, my God, my God. You're about to experience an overwhelming suddenly in your life. Today, a young lady called me recently and told me, Prophet, on that last live you did by the sea, is something shifted for me. Something shifted for me, and my eyes have been opened to see exactly what's going on. And now I was able to get certain breakthroughs, certain things was supposed to happen that wouldn't happen for me, but now been happening. Why? Because all it takes is a word. All it takes is one word. One word to free you guys up. One word to bless you. One word to be a blessing. One word to open the door. Amen. All it takes is one word. So today is your day of miracles. Today is your day of signs and wonders. If you can receive that, say amen. Amen. If God gave you breath, if God gave you breath today, you woke up today, you could walk today, you could shout today, huh? you can walk today. Hallelujah. You might have a car to drive it, you might not. You may be footing it. You may be hiking. You may be catching a bus. Doesn't matter. God is still good. Amen? Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that amazing scene. Hallelujah. Many of you who live in abroad and you're in the, you're in the States or Europe or wherever, you know there ain't no seas or a land like the Bahamas. And when you go to see that they're bragging about, you just won't cry. Because you could literally look to the bottom of the sea. You could look to the bottom of the ocean and see what I'm talking about. Eh? You could look to the bottom of the sea and the ocean and see what we're talking about here. I want you guys to know that God is spinning some things around for you. I see your ex is about to come back. Your ex is about to come back. Your ex is about to come back. He ran away. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He left you after the argument you'll had and just packed up. Said he was never happy in the relationship. That's okay. You've been through him. You've been through with him too. Thick and thin. Thick and thin. Huh? You've been through thick and thin with this man. 
Now he's starting to prosper. His business started to do good. And all of a sudden, now you're going to talk fool. Like, like the behemoth say. Now you're going to talk fool. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Thank you, Jesus. Now all of a sudden, he will talk fool. He will say, boy, look here. <laughs> so he was never happy in the relationship. He was never happy in the relationship, and now he... He gonna park and be things and he gone. Thank you, Jesus. This is for someone specifically. And you might have even given him his way. You might have even gotten a divorce. But you never gave up on the marriage. Huh? Teen tongue just followed, you know. Do you know that? But they live in the same mouth. There's always something gonna be called rowdy. You gotta learn to get along. Huh? And put these things beside you. Guys, I'm just saying, when we have something that we love, don't take it for granted. Amen? Don't take it for granted. And I want to let you guys know that right now, God is turning some things around in your life. God is removing some barriers. Amen? Removing some barriers that the enemy had put up. They put up some ancient barriers. Amen? Some hideous barriers and try to fight you guys from that perspective. That's all right. God is able, amen. And I'm telling you right now, guys, you're about to be blessed going in and coming out. Wow. Someone said it was in the outer banks of New York and the water was brown. We had to take advantage of this, guys. Keep them comments coming. Keep those comments coming. Because God is shifting something even as even as you're on this live. Even as you're on this live. Someone just told me, said, you know, prophet after the last live, said something shifted me, you know. I was, I was vomiting and bringing up stuff later on that day. And now I got peace. I can actually sleep. Just listen to the waves, guys. The waves. Just even the waves. It is good for us. Yes, and this is what I want to do when, when this COVID thing is up. I want you guys to come and celebrate on the island with us. I want you guys to come enjoy the sea, the sand, taste our food, taste our culture. This is just a small taste of what you can get when you come to the Bahamas, when you come for your deliverance. Because many people are still waiting. I tell them, don't come for the deliverance yet because we're not actually uh, doing that per se. You know, we want to do it in a group setting. So many people say, I'm ready to take my ticket right now. I don't care about the COVID. But we just want to make sure that everybody could get proper treatment and proper, you know, proper attention. But we want to make sure that when you come down, that you are all set. Amen? You're all set. And so today, I'm speaking to someone right now. You're saying, Father, how are you going to make it today? Lord, things ain't looking good. Things looking mash up. And the enemy been playing with your mind, telling you you're going, you're going to fail, you're going to fall. You ain't going to make it. He's been telling you give up. Some of you have been contemplating, Lord, I don't know where to turn right now because I, I have these bills to pay and it looks like it ain't coming in. Well, today I want to speak to you as I'm sitting on this beach. You can call me and you can testify about the miracle money that you're about to get. The miracle money you're about to get. And it's going to be not only what you need, but it's going to be more than enough. Some of you shackles are falling off right now as you're listening. Shackles are falling off. When I say shackles, I mean things that have been kept, that are keeping you bound for a little while. Some things you got over, but it returned back again. Some things you got over, but now it's back again. You said, man, I, I dealt with this. All right? I dealt with this mind battle. I dealt with this lack of financial stuff before, and I defeated it. But now it looks like it's back again. That means that somehow there's an open door. That means that somehow there's an open door that needs to be closed, guys. Listen. Nothing can attack you unless it has a loophole. It might be a loophole. It might be something that that is just there. All right, that that uh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Bless you. <laughs> yes, there might be something there that's that's uh that's giving it a gateway into your life. And because there's a gateway or door that's open, it can come and go. Some of you dealt with tremendous trauma within the last several. Uh, years and even months 
and God is about to heal you from a hard break. You know, one of you, you've not even gotten to that place where you could really say, God really blessed me like that. Because every time you're about to get that blessing, something snatches away. And I'm talking about 10 people right now listening to me. 10 people, you're listening to me right now. And your blessings has been snatched from you every time. You get half blessings. You know, you, someone bless you with a car and then you can't get the car license. Someone bless you with a car and the engine shot. Someone bless you with a car, but you can't find a path for the ignition. See, this is what I'm talking about, halfway blessings. You need to get full blessings, full increase, full favor. People promise you monies and they're sincere. You know they're sincere in their heart. You know they meant it. But when you look again, they turn around and tell you they don't have the money no more or they spent it or you didn't come quick enough or they couldn't find you and you were right there, their number's right there. You see what I'm talking about? This spirit of delay, this spirit of setback, it has to be broken. Many people are suffering in quiet desperation, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Many people are suffering in quiet desperation and they don't know what to do because they're tired. They're tired, man, you know, they're tired. And so many people, many people uh, uh, decide to check out. You know, someone tell me, say, listen, prophet, you know, I'm ready to check out here, man, because things ain't looking good. Things looking mash up a bit, you know. Things looking mash up. Look at this, guys, look at this. Look at the, look at the beauty. Look at the beauty for days. Look at the beauty for days, guys. I want to tell you, the ones who thinking about checking out or cashing out, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Because this bit of suicide is rampant in the Bahamas. And I told you guys this on so many occasions and so many lives that they did. That there's a spirit that wants to fight you guys. There's a spirit that wants to fight. This spirit wants to destroy God's people's life. But we are prepared. Amen? We are prepared. We are prepared. Melvin Swan said, this is beautiful. Sophia said, full blessings, full increase, and full favor. Sophia Swan, God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Melvin. Hallelujah. Michelle Hughes say, so beautiful. See, let me tell you something. When you're about to be blessed and favored, all hell seems like it breaks through. As a matter of fact, I have to tell people I don't want you to prophesy to me no more. Yeah, that's what I have to tell them. Don't prophesy to me no more. Don't prophesy to me no more because every time I get a prophecy, I go into serious warfare. I say, I can't take this no more. Enough is enough. And so I begin to seek God. Amen? And God said, there's a tremendous spirit that's been assigned against you. So as a matter of fact, there's, there's a whole contingent of spirit. They take time coming at you. It ain't one spirit. And they've been assigned against you because the call on your life. So your call is great. And so every time you think you get rid of one, one spirit, one force, it comes back again. But the Lord was saying, because of the call on your life, because of the anointing, because of what you're about to do. Uh, and so, and so, I started to complain. I started to murmur. I started to get bitter. I started to resent other people who I see moving. Because I tried to get one vehicle and every time I go for the vehicle, the mechanic lied to me. The mechanic keeping the vehicle. The mechanic said he fixed the vehicle and I drive the vehicle and the vehicle blow up on me. And then, and then I get other vehicles and the same thing happened. Uh, and, and I can't seem to move forward. Once being a man who had millions of dollars in business. And so when that process happened, I recognized that it was something else fighting me. I don't care what you say. It came to the point where people who were around me were saying they wonder if I steal the church money. Because they were saying, ain't no reason why this man can't be blessed. What did you do? So I asked God to show me if I put my hand to anything that was not right. And if I've if I've parted with anybody that is in sin. Because see, sometimes it don't be you, but it could be someone you partnered with. And come to find out, I had must be about 10 partners. And like I was a magnet for picking these partners that were just like they weren't for me. And it would start off good. And then before you know it, it was taken again. I want to say to you that God is shifting your season, you know. God is shifting your season, guys. Look at this, look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look how beautiful this place is. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this. Hallelujah. I won't go for I won't go for dip right now. When I hang up, I can go for dip. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Because I want to I want to enjoy my sun sea and sand before it gets too late. Because sometimes people take it from you. Things happen. And they take away your privilege, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. 
Look how beautiful that is. Come on, guys. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Let's give him some glory. Let's give him some praise out here today. The water has healing in it, guys. The water has healing in it. The waves of the sea. Whether it's to live next to the beach, that's what it put me to sleep. The rhythm of the waves. The sea breeze. Breathing the sea breeze. Some of us sticking around the computer all day and our eyes getting irradiated, our body getting irradiated. You need to come out and enjoy nature. God put it there for you. He put it there for you. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look how amazing God is. Look how God wants you to be blessed. Look how God wants you to be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dorothy McDonald, I see God doing a suddenly for you. Buffy, I see God doing a suddenly for you. Get ready, Buffy, for God to do a suddenly for you. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to do a suddenly for Buffy. God is going to do a suddenly for Buffy. Thank you, Jesus. I think I saw Zerara. I can't. I don't know if I pronounce it, but she's about to get a, a suddenly. All of you who are listening to me and watching, I want to let you know that as you lock your faith in, God's going to shift things. Many of you have been telling me, boy, prophet, I don't know what's going on, but I've been targeted. Listen, don't worry about them. Jesus has been targeted. If you are a man or woman of God, you can be targeted. There are different types of targeting. They can be from the government as well. Of the world. I'm not saying any particular government. I'm getting involved in nothing. But you could be targeted. We all can be targeted. <laughs> but it is real. A million people can't be wrong. There's something going on. You're targeted because you you have something that they're afraid of. Maybe you are vocal about your opinions about certain things you see is wrong. See, they want you to just shut up and don't say nothing and act like everything is okay. They want to give you corned beef and tell you it's steak. But when you decide to step up, speak up for what is right, call injustices, injustices, they get angry. So they target you. They see you as an enemy of the state. Huh? It could be where they target you spiritually. You know what I'm talking about. Every night coming in your dreams. Every night fighting you. Every night coming into your dreams. Every night terrorizing you. Huh? Night terrors. Huh? One lady said, she's a prophet. She said, I didn't believe in you. I didn't believe in the word you gave. So every time you give this word, I told her just for I told her just for you, just to stand out like that. You know, just 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 for, for everyone. She said, but let me tell you something. I now know that word was for me because I go on to my job. And my job, my boss is stealing the money. And I've been working there and I've made this man must be about fifty thousand dollars since I was there. Now all of a sudden he's saying I, I thief in his money. And I've not stolen a red penny. She said I cried from noon till morning, then I wake up again and cry some more because I so loved the job. And it was my first job in a long time because of the word that you've spoken over my life concerning this job. And now look what's happening. And on top of that, my mother just passed away and nobody wants to help me with the funeral to pay for the bills, to pay for her funeral. I'm the only one out of, out of, I mean, maybe, you know, a bunch of family members. Everybody just acting weird. And so I say to you, that was not natural, woman of God. Someone who you thought had your back in there is the one who put the nail in your coffin. You hear me? That's not natural. They put this nail in your coffin. They did this to you. You hear me? But that's, that, doesn't, that doesn't matter. What matters is that you know that you didn't take that from them. You know your heart is full of integrity. That's all you need to concern yourself with. God is able to provide you with a job that's way better than that. Amen? That's not the only job that God can give you. When one door closes, ten more opens. Huh? You know to be frightful. All right? All right, all right. You know to be afraid. If God is for you, who could be against you? If a thousand come at you, huh? Then ten thousand will fall to the side. I'm telling you this right now to encourage you. She said she cried and she couldn't cry no more. And she said, Prophet, I don't know what happened. What happened? What happened to me? Why? I just got this job. I'm so loving up on this job. I'm so believing God for this job and for what is happening. Now look what happened to me. You see, people are going through stuff like that. The minute you get something good, like the enemy comes and take it from you. The minute you start doing well, it's like it gets snapped from you. And can I tell you, can I tell you, that her mother did a dirty. Her mother one time was being troubled by her dad. So she called out his uncle, who was deep into the cult. And he did a ritual around the house to stop the daddy from beating the mother and to bathe her in all this stuff. 
Yes, the beating stop. Yeah, the beating stop. The beating stop now. But look what happened now. Instability. Can't lock it. That's a covenant. Many people are living in the covenant, strong covenants that were made. And now it is a result of these strong covenants that you're seeing these wicked dreams because there's a contract there. Remember, a curse without a cause is like a bird in flight. It can't land. It cannot land. There's something that's giving it a legal right to your life. There's something that's opening a door. We want to shut those doors, guys. Amen? And we want to see you blessed. Someone is about to get an office open soon. You're about to open an office soon. You're about to open an office for business. And you're about to get a fantastic business that is going to be open for you in short order. Hello? You've been trying to open this business for a long time, guys. And now you're going to see this business open. You're going to see this business open, guys. Look at this beautiful sun. Even our rocks are beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> Look at these rocks. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You can imagine now we had some conch salad, some conch fritters, some, some switcher, or as we say, lemonade. <laughs> Hallelujah. You guys would have been out here and we would just have a really great time just celebrating. Amen? Celebrating what God is doing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Wow. Wow. I'm so happy to see a lot of my friends on today. I'm so happy to see my friends on today. Hallelujah. I'm so happy to see my friends on. And uh, many of you I know very well. And many of you have uh, been with me a long time. And uh, I just love this beach scene. Do you guys want to see more beach scene? More beach teaching? Do you guys want to see more beach teaching? Where I do stuff on the beach and in different locations. If you want to see that done, then you let me know because this is a new season. Prophet Melvin say I'm looking good. God bless you, Prophet Melvin. I receive that in the name of Jesus. I'm getting my beach body on, guys. The Lord said, for the anointing that I carry and I can't sit down. He said, it's too much, it's too much anointing and my body will be able to handle it. So I have to change and I have to start exercising to handle what's going on. Some of you that have been withheld with promotions, promotions, you're going to get your promotions. You hear me? In this season, God is going to bless you with promotions. God is going to bless you. Those promotions that was held up, God is releasing those promotions to you now. And God is going to do it suddenly. Some of you, you can be, you can be your boss boss. <laughs> Some of you can be your boss boss. Do you hear me? Did you hear that? Some of you are going to be your boss boss. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know that Joseph was, was uh, Potiphar's boss? Potiphar started out being his boss. But he became Potiphar's boss. Why? Because God saw the ugly. God saw what they did to him. God said what they don't do to you too, you know. Don't think he ain't seen it. He's seen it, guys. And let me tell you something. God is about to bless you in such a tremendous way. God is about to open some doors for you that you have not even prepared to open. Let me tell you something. Just walk through it, okay? Walk through it. Don't complain. Don't murmur. Don't murmur. Because God hates murmuring. He hates complaining. This is the time now to begin to get back into prayer and fasting. Get back into prayer and fasting. Get back into prayer and fasting, guys. Let me sit on this rock here. Because if you sit on the solid rock, then you'll be okay when the storms and the winds, winds come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is about to knock your socks off. Hallelujah. Get ready, guys. Get ready. You've heard it said before. And you might hear it again. Every time you say amen and thank you, Jesus, it gets a little closer. Do you know that? Do you know that the enemy wanted to have you in such depression and, and, and believe that nothing but God said can come to pass? And to make it feel like, you know, you know the lady tell me? She's a prophet. I've been getting so much prophecies and so much word. And you know what happened right now? I feel like the devil's stronger than, stronger than Jesus. I say, woman of God. 
I say, that's what the enemy wants you to believe. Because, you know, I'm working so hard and I can't see no breakthrough. I'm wondering if, if the devil's stronger. Hallelujah, but he's not stronger, guys. He's a created being. He's created. He's a created being. And he has his day too. Everybody have their 15 minutes of fame, you know. But God allowing him to do what he will do. To prove to the angelic powers. To, pr to prove to the angelic witnesses that are watching. Because he said God is God is mean. God is a tyrant. God is a bully. You know, God said, go ahead, prove it then. Let me see you prove your case. All right. I can let you give them knowledge too. I can let you do what you want to do. Why? So, so he could about. He could let them see because they will say God is unfair and God is totally just. You know, God wouldn't even he wouldn't even move in that situation unless you ask him. You gotta ask him because he's a gentleman. The Holy Spirit is a gentleman, and the Holy Spirit is about to do something for you tremendously. Well, how many? Want me to tell you I know? Because he has to wait for it to get to an impossibility. Because if it is if it is not possible. Or it doesn't go beyond the possibility. You can say you do that. You can believe that you do that. See, but when the situation is impossible, when the situation is impossible, when the situation is impossible, then God will do it. God will do it for you and God will get the glory. God will get the glory out of the situation. You hear me? You might say, boy, this thing ain't coming. This thing ain't gonna work out. This thing ain't working out. But as I live and breathe, God will never leave you nor forsake you hallelujah thank you jesus i want you guys to share it share it because again when you are called by god you face plenty of opposition when you're chosen by god it's even worse because the adversary will raise up people even in your own house he'll raise up people in your own home To come against you. Your children start acting contrary. Your children start acting strange. Your children try to resist you, fight you. One woman said, my, my beautiful girl, say my beautiful girl, she started to try to fight me. Say she was so manly. Say, but she started hanging with these girls and they keep taking her out. Ever since she started hanging with these girls, now she get up on my face to fight me. My beautiful girl, who was so manly. What happened? What happened to this nice, beautiful girl? It's because of the company she started hanging out with. It's the company, guys. Sometimes it's the company. All right, right, right. So what? The Bible says, bad company corrupts good manners. Huh? Some of you, you in the house, you got a bunch of bills to pay. You got, about 20, you got about 20 people in the house and nobody won't pay nothing. The current getting turned off. Everybody working. The fridge break down, nobody won't fix it. The microwave gone, nobody won't buy another one. But everybody won't sink. Come on guys, it's time to wait to get a, that black crab syndrome got to stop. Hole in the roof, nobody will try to fix it. You can cut the grass, but you, you won't do it. That spirit of taking advantage and using and usury gotta go you got to now carry your own weight you got to contribute huh? <laughs> some people you always cooking dinner for them every Sunday they want so much to say listen let me just bring some rice this time or let me let me give you a thirty dollars just to add to was get some things they just take and take and take and take you gotta change your attitude you gotta learn to be a giver start giving start giving start sowing you wonder why you still in the same position Many are in that same position because they don't want to release nothing. All they want to do is sink, hide their money, put it up, and uh, play, they ain't got nothing. They ain't got nothing. Or they take this, or they, uh, you know, you're making $600 a week, but you can't help contribute at least 100 or 200 a week to the, to the family. What's going on there? You got to change, guys. Stop this attitude of this hoarding and being greedy. Give, all right? give it to the house and if they use you and they they take from you then god will pay you amen but it'll be on record that you didn't hold back nothing or you gave what you're supposed to give or you take care of what you're supposed to take care of because what you do comes back to you don't you know it's a law what you do comes back to you and i want to pray 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I just speak, Father God, the word of God today. Lord, everyone on this live, everyone that's watching me, everyone, Father God, that's asking God for a miracle, I ask that, Father God, you bless them with an uncommon miracle today. God, I ask that every spiritual Pharaoh that has been fighting against them, spiritual Pharaoh, Pharaoh, that has been resisting them, stubborn problems, stubborn enemies, stubborn situations that won't go. I cancel this over their life in the name of Jesus. I cancel it over their life right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God, I ask that, Father God, you break this Pharaoh spirit over their life. You break the spirit Pharaoh over their life right now, God. Everything the enemy is even planning. Do you know that the, the enemy has a calendar and a timetable for your life? I speak death and abortion to every calendar and every timetable that the enemy has for your life. I declare and decree you will move on the timetable and you will move in the favor and you will move in the Kairos timing of God for your life. Every death trap they have for you, every accident they have for you, every setup to bring you into open shame and scandal, I bind that up right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind up that spirit. God, I break that spirit of limitation. I break that spirit of almost there but never there. You about to get a call. You just almost finished. They just about to call you. Your, your, your applications and your papers been sitting in those government offices for now five to ten years. I have a friend who was trying to get his papers for almost 30 years and he's standing straight. Whenever him and his girlfriend have an argument, she just run and call the immigration on him. Leave the run, leave and go to another country. You're not supposed to be living like that. Huh? He didn't pay over close to maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars and he always giving money to someone who could get him straight and they always taking the money. That means that you have a hit list on your left, on your life. There's a hit list on your life. Why you can't get straight? You could even come to certain people you want to come to a funeral. Because if you come back, you know you can't go back. That is time for that to change. That is the shift. That is the shift. You can't even attend a funeral you want to attend. And you're living from hand to mouth. Yet you are talented beyond measure. I mean, you got orders of talent. You're gifted. But see, when you're, when you're running away from God, when you're running away from God's calling on your life, you become a Jonah. You go through tremendous, unnecessary hardship. It didn't have to be like that. But see, we don't like to submit. We want to do our own thing. Every man just doing his own thing. Every man going his own way. Every man has his own plans. And so what happens? You end up being outside the gates of God. You ain't in the blessings no more. As a matter of fact, you're on the blacklist. Because you try to do it in your own strength. You're trying to get that man in your own strength. You're trying to get that enemy in your own strength. Nah, -uh, leave him to God. You're trying to get that job in your own strength. You want this house and you've been trying to get this house for the longest time. I see 10 of you. You want a house. But you ain't doing it God's way. God gave you an instruction to do it. But you want to try to outsmart God. You can't outsmart God, and He gave you specific instructions too. But you, you, you thinking that's too simple? Listen, sometimes the most simple answers is the best ones, guys. Follow the instructions. The most simple answer, and we've done it. We've all done it. Nobody throw no shade on you. We've all done it. But if God give you an instruction, you go forth and do that. It might seem simple. It might even seem stupid. Stupid. Uh, even according to the, the natural eyes, and in, in the natural, it looks like, you know, they may even laugh at you. Yeah? They laugh at Noah. Every day for a hundred years, never rain once in the desert. And now Noah been in the ark in the desert. And they come out there and laugh. They had party. Huh? It was fun to them. But God is getting ready to speak on your behalf. Kamika full thought. Your breakthrough is right around the corner. I can see it on you. I can see it on you. Press in. Press in. Keep pressing in. God is about to shift you, woman of God. And I see God doing this thing suddenly. God's about to open the door for you. And God's about to give you favor in a mighty area that you've been asking him for. Huh? And God is saying he will do it for you. God's getting ready to do it for you. Everyone who's on this live right now, Nicole will point here. I hear the word of the Lord for you to, is to stand still. Stand still. Stand still and watch what he's about to do. Watch what God's about to do for you. Watch what God is about to do. This is your battle. The battle is the Lord's. The battle is yours. You're trying to fight this battle in your flesh. You can't even deal with this battle. This battle is the Lord's. But you've been trying to figure it out in your head. You can't even figure it out in your head. God will do it suddenly for you. 
Because the enemy wanted to even try to make you feel like you're losing your mind. Hallelujah. The enemy wanted to make it feel like you, you're going to go crazy. Huh? You wanted to, you wanted to, 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 to actually make you feel like not one word is going to come to pass. Because there's, there's someone who's very high in the spirit that's resisting you. There's someone high in the spirit, but in a negative way. They high into what they're doing, but they're resisting you. They're fighting you. If you guys believe that this word is for you, then share it. This is for Nicole Poitier. God said, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a new thing for you. But also, I hear what the Lord is saying in this season for you, woman of God, is that there's something that's attached to you, you need to, you need to, you need to let it go. Ask the Lord to show you what it is. It's something that, that fights your breakthroughs. It's like anytime you get move one step forward, it takes two steps ahead of you and blocks it. Hallelujah. And this is a door. Amen. Go to your contacts again and figure out where this is. All right. Because this thing has been fighting you for a long time. And it's also a tremendous spirit of jealousy concerning you. Amen. They don't want to see you elevate on your position. They don't want to see you move forward with your investments. And they don't want to see you move forward in your marriage. They're fighting it. Amen. On three fronts. And this is someone who is high. They're high. They're high. You hear me? Spiritually, but on a bad level, in a bad way. Thank you, Jesus. I speak a word to Bonita. Bonita, I speak a word to you in the name of Jesus. I release an uncommon blessing over you, Bonita. And I speak the word of the Lord to you. This is the word of the Lord to you. Whom the Lord has blessed, no man can curse. I see God opening major doors for you. I see God moving away major problems, even mentally and psychologically. I see God just recalibrating you. I hear the word for you is reset, rejuvenation, and rest in the season. And the Lord said, don't work it on your head. Submit it to Him. And, and, and watch what He's going to do for you within the next 90 days. 90 days, thank you Jesus. 90 days, God is about to rock your world as you get in the position and the posture of prayer and fasting. And I see you, I see you just coming into a, a spiritual uh, maturity and a realm of just open heaven. But the enemy has been fighting this blessing. This blessing that has been trying to be uh, held back. It comes from a grandmother. A grandmother. Your grandmother made some covenants and contracts with certain powers. And have been fighting you like that. It's been fighting you like that. Okay? But you continue to hammer them. No one has half the battle. No one has half the battle. Get ready for God to really destroy those yokes. Get ready for God to destroy those yokes. Get ready for God to give you rest. Get ready for rest. God's going to give you rest. God's blessed all of you all on this live, you know. God's blessed everyone that's on this live. Zira Eli. Zaria Eli. The word of the Lord to you is rest in God. Rest in God. Rest in God. Even I see the enemy tried to get you to even turn away from the ministry and churches with the spirit of offense. Because there's some pain and hurt from church. There's some pain and hurt from people that you trusted. There's some deep hurts that God is healing. God is doing a new thing for you. Ellie, 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 God is doing a new thing for you. I think that's the name. Uh, God is going to shift you because you have a beautiful spirit. <laughs> you have a very beautiful spirit. And, and you're very sensitive to the things of God. Very sensitive. Amen? You're very sensitive to the things of God. And so God is, is going to, uh, to show you just who He is. Amen? And God says He's doing a new thing for you. And God is saying rest. Amen? Rest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Zaria Eli. You can't even understand the call of God on your life. Your call is very peculiar and very unique. You can write plenty of books. I see you writing books because of the spiritual meditations and insight God is going to give you from what you went through. You went through some pain and hurt that almost caused you to lose your mind. But you're going to write from this perspective and you're going to help a lot of ladies. You're going to help a lot of people, women, who have a broken heart and who went through terrible wounds in the spirit, a wounded soul and wounded spirit. God is healing your heart woman of God. God is healing you. God is healing you. Zaria, 
I want you to anoint your forehead because I see the enemies sometimes fight your mind. Thank you, Jesus. And you may say, who could I trust? Who's real men of God? Is there any real men of God around? I want to know who I could trust certain people because I've been hurt in certain situations. I don't know the trust. People talk your business when you tell it to them. <laughs> they create confusion. But Ellie, I see God doing a new thing for you. I see God doing a new thing for you. Hallelujah. Even something concerning relationship. Relationships. I don't know what's going on, but God is shifting you. Amen? God is shifting you. Hallelujah. And God is breaking some generational curses. God is breaking some serious generational curses. Going back, way back, even to Africa. Even to Africa. Thank you, Jesus. Some things even in Africa that you don't even know about. That you've been tied to. Thank you, Jesus. Share it, share it. If you guys are liking it, share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord to Catherine. Catherine Williamson. Williamson. I guess that's right. Excuse me. If I mess your name up, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But the Lord is our... The Lord is turning your season around, Kathleen. And I heard the word of the Lord that no weapon formed against you will prosper. Amen? They've been trying to fight you in a lot of areas because of the call and the anointing on your life. But they can't stop you because of the greatness that's on your life. If it was not for God, you'd have been out of your mind and you'd have been dead. You've been out of your mind and you'd have been dead. But the Lord kept you. And the Lord is restoring to you the years that the canker worm and the palm worm were stolen. A lot was stolen from you. A lot was taken from you. But the Lord will release that to you. And God is going to cause your face to shine amongst your enemies. I want you to take Psalms 23 for yourself, Kathleen. God is going to prepare a table before, uh, bef uh, for you in the presence of your enemies. Right? He's going to cause you to eat in the season in the front of your enemies. The Lord has smiled at the storm because he's in the boat with you. God is in the boat with you, Kathleen. God is in the boat with you. God got you. God got your family. And they can't stop you in this season. They've been trying. They've been trying. They've been trying to bind you up, even in dreams. Even in dreams, woman of God. Wow. If you can see right now, this is the biggest, this is the biggest manta ray I've ever seen on this beach right now. This manta ray is so big, and it comes right to the shore. It's right here, right here. Thank you, Jesus. This big manta ray. <laughs> you get to see them every now and then. Man, this dude, this dude gotta be about gotta be about three, four feet. At least. Thank you, Jesus. Buffy Cooper. I hear the word of the Lord to you is that he's going to send in the finances. He's going to send the finances in. And the Lord said he's saving your children. Good, 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 good. He's saving your children. Good, 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 good. He's saving them. Good, 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 good. And they're going to be a tremendous blessing to you. Because they're watching your life and they're seeing how your life is transformed. They're watching mommy life and they're seeing mommy on the spiritual path. And they like what they're seeing. And so God is going to cause them to bless you and to give to you. You ain't going to want for nothing. And the Lord said, even that money that you had years ago, $500,000 and more, you get that again. You get that again. That's coming for you. Hallelujah. That's coming for you. And no one can stop that. No one can stop that. I see doors opening for everyone on this line. If you guys believe that, say amen and thank you, Jesus. Because the last person we spoke to told me, say, Prophet, say, I don't know what happened, but I got a call back from my old job that they fired me off. I got a call back. They take the job from you, but they have to call you back because they wasn't supposed to you, fire you in the first place. Because they need you. Huh? God can make you so indispensable on your job that they can try to fire you, but you can have the keys to the whole system. They can't even operate without you. As a matter of fact, a lot of these businesses that open now open because of you, because of your presence, because you're a believer. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. God is about to do a suddenly for you. Sudden turnaround. Suddenly those who offended you and spoke evil against you will come and apologize. They might tell you they gave the position to someone else. 
but suddenly they just say, you know, the person, we didn't, they didn't, there wasn't, a, there wasn't, a, there wasn't a match. You know, there wasn't a good fit for us. Do you still want this position? Do you still want this job? Your businesses that you're opening, and I see about ten people, ten people that you're opening business, you're opening businesses. Go for it and open those businesses. Go for it and open those businesses. But the laws that don't move in fear. Let me tell you how God has blessed you. He don't bless you when the economy regularly, no. He's blessed you when, when the economy are constrained and weird. Huh? Why? So he can show forth who he is. And so you should shine brighter and brighter. As the days get darker, the light that is in you will shine brighter and brighter. Amen? I see God doing something for Dr. Sandra D. Smith. Amen? God is doing a mighty thing in her life. Not only that, God is about to expose some wicked people that have been around her, that have been pretending. Because she's called it like it is. And God said this season he's going to expand her territory. Oh God, God is expanding your territory. God is raising you up in this last of the last days. There are many going to be put down. And I hear them talking about you now, so you know. I hear the ministers them talking about you, you know. Because you're real, you see. You're real. You're truthful. You're doing the things the right way. And because you're doing it the right way, and you're coming with honesty and integrity, and you call it an ace to ace, there's a problem. But guess what? You ain't about, you ain't, you ain't this for popularity. You ain't this because you want to win friends and influence people. You come to do kingdom business. You come to raise up Sarah's. You come to raise up Abraham's. You come to raise up generation leaders. You come to leave an impact and a legacy. And that's what you're doing, woman of God. You're doing that on a high level, amen? And God is going to elevate you. You ain't seen nothing yet. God is taking you around the world. God's going to carry you around the world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is carrying you around the world because God said, I've, I've anointed you and I've equipped you to deal with what they've been trying to send at you because if it was up to them, you'd have been six feet under. But you've you've shown them that you could take a lick and keep on ticking and knowing that you know spiritual warfare, you know spiritual combat. They even try to affect your body, woman of God. Yes, they try to affect your body. They try to, they try to mess you up. They even try to stop you from speaking and talking. But guess what? God kept you and God has let them know they can't touch who I've blessed. The weapon will form, woman of God, but it shall not prosper. Now God said, financially, I'm going to bless you to the point where it's going to look like something wrong. You will, you will wonder what's happening because God said, I'm opening up the faucet. Yes, they try, to, they try to shut the faucet, but I'm opening up the faucet even wider, wider because you can bless many. You can be a blessing to many. And God could trust you because he proved you. You ain't in this for, you ain't in this for popularity. You ain't in this for popularity. Many times you could walk away when it got really hard. Many times you could close down shop, but you stayed with God because you know anything about that. You are a soldier. And so because of this, because you are able to, uh, to, 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 to lock in and you're able to move through, God said, I'm blessing you now. And I hear elevation. I hear promotion in the spirit. I hear God say to, to get ready because he's going to connect you with some people that are going to, that are going to be a, such a blessing to you in the season. I hear the word divine network. Divine network. God is going to just bless you with divine connection in the season. Hallelujah. Amen. And your connection, your connection, it's not even going to be in the Bahamas so much as it is going to be away. Amen? Away, 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 away. Because I see the, the level of anointing that's on you. God said these people in the Bahamas, they're not appreciating you the way they should. Some of them are not even giving the way they should into the ministry. You have to pray for them and labor for them. Even take blows, even retaliation from some of the people you prayed for. A lot of that stuff that came at you wasn't because of, of things coming at you. It was because of the people who you stand the gap for. And then they, the, the, the powers that be say, yeah, you stand, you stand up for them? I got to deal with you then. But you stood in the gap, woman of God, and you prospered and you held your ground. Now comes elevation. Now comes blessings. Now comes increase. And God is going to bless the, 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 the seeds of your loins. Amen? Your children are going to be blessed. And you will raise up many sons and daughters in this season, uh, Dr. Sandra. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Many sons and daughters. They're going to be raised up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I hear the word expansion. I hear the word expansion. Even the place where you are, they ain't big enough. God said, I'm going to be even make it much bigger. <laughs> God's going to make this place much bigger. I even see a bigger building. I even see several buildings coming for you. Thank you, Jesus. And I see, I see God even giving you businesses. Businesses as well. Because God don't want you depending on nobody. God want to give you income and increase where you have your own business. Your own businesses that are flourishing and they're blessed. Because He wants you to be he wants you to be able to say, listen, you ain't, you ain't this tired money you give me now. You ain't this tired you sold into my life. I bless God for it. But that's not my sustenance. I'm a businesswoman too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Susan Anderson, the word of the Lord to you is to stay in a secret place because he's about to blow your mind. He's about to blow your mind in this season, says the Spirit of the living God. He's about to blow your mind. He's about to 
show you that he's God all by himself. Hallelujah. They can't stop you. They've been trying to, woman of God. They were trying to even follow you. But they can't stop you. They're so afraid of you, woman of God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know what I'm talking about. That's because, that's because at the end of the day, they can see just who God is. Amen. They can see that he don't play. And many people have a problem with you. They have a problem with me too. Hallelujah. I don't care. Because if you can't get beyond people's opinion, you'll stay in one place. You hear me? They'll keep you bound right up. They'll keep you bound right up. You've got to get away from people. Love them. But at the same time, know that if you depend on their opinion and what they say and the way they look at you, you'll never move. And I said, Lord, deliver me from people's opinion. Deliver me from people's opinion. Deliver me from the way they look at me. Huh? Them, them looks and them bad ways, you know, because you know sometimes we got some bad ways in the Bahamas. Be nice, but at the same time, we got some funny ways. Particularly Freeport people. You know what I'm talking about. If you could make it in Freeport, you could make it any place in the world. You hear me? Because there's a spirit. And I told you the spirit came from piracy. This spirit comes from piracy, from Black Bear and Edward Teach and, 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 and Anne Bonnie and all them. All right? It's a pirating spirit. It's a bloodlust spirit. That we need to break, guys. We need to break the spirit. And it's still hovering. Huh? Looting, pillaging, and plundering. So we got to break that over the head of the governments as well. That spirit will continue to come forth unless we break that thing. Huh? From the days of the Caribbean, from the days of the Caribbeans, they've been fighting us. Mighty God. Do you guys know your history? Wood Rogers and, and all those different um, um, parties of the Queen. <coughs> this was a bootlegging country. They used to hide all their liquor, all their um, pilfering, all the treasure they stole from the ships they raided. They used to hide them. But guess what? We need to cut that off. We need to pray against that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bonds, I see God doing something really awesome for you. Bonds. God is giving you a second win. Bonds, God is giving you a second win. Hang tight with God. Thank you, Jesus. God is giving you back your joy. <laughs> God is giving you back your joy. There's two people right here, right now. You've been saying, God, my joy is gone. I cry all the time. I cry day and night. And I don't even know why I cry it. That's because they attack you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You ain't going to second life. Or menopause, as they say. You've been attacked spiritually. They got you to pray a chain praying. But God is releasing you right now. God's releasing you right now. They can't stop you. Because whom God has blessed, no man can curse. Get ready because you're being released right now. You can feel the heat in your back coming up. Because this thing been sitting on your back. I'm breaking the power right now, says the Spirit of the Living God. I'm breaking the power right now, says the Spirit of the Living God. They can't touch you. They can't touch you. Because God got you covered. God got you in this season. I want you to say, thank you, Jesus, and I receive my blessings. I receive it. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. You guys receiving this blessing? How many of you were blessed this morning by this broadcast? <laughs> God is releasing divine healing. To some of you, you've been seeing problems in your stomach area. Your stomach area. You've been wondering what's going on. You know, strange bloating. Sometimes you've seen different things happen to you as you use the bathroom. You know, and so it's scaring you. I want you to anoint that area of your stomach. Anoint that area of your stomach. Anoint that area. What's up? All right. Anoint that area. You got it? You done it? Father, as they anointed that area around the pelvic region, around the midsection, around the private area, around their back, I raise the healing power of God to flow. You've been feeling obstruction. You've been feeling like there's something wrong. Some of you has been blood you've been seeing that's irregular. They've been trying to bind you up. Thank you, Jesus. Strange constipations. I curse this thing at the root in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cancel over your life. I cancel over your life. God says this is a new season of renewal, of breakthrough. You hear me? 
and come and break through for you. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you, you've been saying, God, do a miracle in my marriage. Because me and my partner, we just like we just like roommates now. No fire. No fire. No desire. And uh, one time he couldn't get enough of me. I couldn't get enough of him. Jesus, now what happened? Well, that's you. Anoint yourself again. Anoint their pillows. Anoint their shoes. And you thank God. You thank God for restoring the marriage. And you said, Jezebel and strange woman, come out of my marriage. Huh? How you know? Is it because you see they have, they have their phone lock. You can't even look at their phone. And every time they're in the bathroom, they text and text and text. And, and then they lock their phone again. They lock their phone. You can't go to the phone. They lock it. But God will allow you to see their phone open. You can see the text messages about what they're doing with this other person. All right? Thank you, Jesus. Some of you have been believing God for husbands. You've been saying, God, I ain't got no husband yet. What happened? <laughs> then know that God's still perfecting something in you, and you might not be ready. Some people say they want a husband, but let me tell you something. Marriage is work, guys. Marriage is work. And it ain't always easy. All right? People see it. They see you together. They see you out. And, but they don't know. There's a lot more to that. It takes work. It takes patience, sacrifice. Sometimes you have to give up things you don't want to do. I might just want to eat me some tuna and grits. But, you know, the wife might say, I want steak. <laughs> Why well, want something else? So we have to change that. So now we have to accommodate that. Or vice versa. You understand me? So it takes a lot of unselfishness. And a lot of compromise. You know, I'm not talking about being a slave or being, you know, being just under the whip. No, that's not, that's not what I'm talking about. Because there are some people who you marry to, they still have spirit they've not been delivered from. If you marry a person and he still have a spirit, a spirit spouse with him, or you marry a woman and she still have a spirit spouse with her, that spirit spouse can beat you through her. That spirit spouse can beat you through him. So you could be fighting three battles. And sometimes people have multiple husbands and multiple wives in, in the spirit. And so you find yourself battling, 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 battling. Because the spirit spouse there generationally and it doesn't like you and is very angry. So you'll find a man being angry with you, wrathful. You being angry with him too, huh? Picking with him. Why? Because it's something through you that is fighting him. You know what I mean? So what you have to do, you have to get deliverance. Get deep deliverance. And also recognize that you ain't fighting your husband. You ain't fighting your wife. If you don't do that, you can come at them. And that's what the enemy wants. But they escalate. Before you know the police come, before you know it, you, you go in your own way. Right? Then you, you think it was them. You, you marry someone else. Right? And it's the same thing all over again. Why? Because the, the initial problem has not been dealt with. You need to deal with the issue of those spiritual things that are in the marriage. Night husband and night wives are very real guys. I don't care what nobody say. They are real and they are very, very powerful and very jealous. Some of you can't get married because you still you still live with your spirit spouse. They ain't gonna let you get married. And if you do get married, they make it hell. So that has to first be broken. That has to be broken through intense deliverance. And sometimes it takes more than one session. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I want to close this out right now, guys, because you've been such an awesome, awesome um, uh, host and group of people today. I just feel a freeness in my spirit to minister. Amen. God is taking you to another level. God is taking you to another level. God is going to open the door for you right now. This one who's listening to me. That you're going to see that it's God's hand. Amen. It will not be stolen from you. This money will not be stolen from you again. Some of you, I see a few of you, man, you had millions of dollars before. I seen it, guys. And it, it just disappear. I seen some of you had businesses. And you keep paying bills that you don't even supposed to be paying. Your business is making the money, but you can't you right now you can't tell me you have a thousand dollars on your bank account. You making fifty thousand dollars a month, but you have a thousand dollars on your savings. I mean you paying out you paying out all your money because something is making you pay it out. Huh? That's not the way it's supposed to be. And some of you, you got businesses. 
but you don't know where the product's going. You don't know where the, the stuff is going. And it used to be blessed one time. But now you got to go back and recalibrate and say, God, you got to show me where the hole is. Who come around my business that don't want to see me blessed? And if I put my hand to anything that, that I should have put my hand to, please forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. Eh? You got to say, forgive me, Lord, and close those doors. And walk in the things of God. See, God wants you guys walking in holiness. Because when the devil have a hole on you, you can always come and check that hole. The first thing they do is look through your bloodline to see what you have a problem with and who got a contract with them. And then they contact the, 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 the resident spirit. And they say, let's deal with them. That's what, that's what they do. Once they've done that, then they put you on the, on, on the, on the hit list. Huh? Some of you can't have babies. You keep up with miscarriages. Some of you had cancer. Your breasts get cut off. Why your breasts get cut off? That ain't supposed to happen. That's a hit in the spirit. They hit you in the spirit. They're supposed to take your life. But God preserved you. God kept you. Amen? They can't stop you. God got you covered. Let me tell you something, guys. When you see God opening the door for you, walk through it, you know what I mean? Don't fight your blessings. Don't fight your favor. Mighty God. Some of you, man, it's like every time you get a, an apartment, you live in an apartment or you live in a place for a little while, then they broke out and they fight you. Then you're going to leave again. That's a vagabond spirit, guys. You need to break that. I have an amazing book on, on breaking that with the bastard curse. You need to break that. Because if you don't, from the tomb, from the womb to the tomb, you'll be, still be singing the same song. The song to the change. Mm -hmm. you gotta do it, guys. Morning, morning, how you doing? You gotta do it, guys. Amen? How many of you guys love this broadcast today? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to see you guys doing well. I want to see you guys telling me, Prophet, look what I just got. Prophet, look what I just get. Prophet, I just got this. Prophet, this door just opened for me. Amen? That's my desire. That's why I do this. Amen? And I believe that God raised me up to do it. My authority didn't come from man. That's where a lot of people get in problem. They're doing it because they feel like man raised them up. That's why God is in the wilderness all, all along. Because he didn't want no contamination. He didn't want me like with no organization per se. Amen? Because he have a unique work. You don't think God saw you all through eternity and know what you can do? God knows it. God sees it. He sees everything. He sees everything and he knows everything. You can't fool him. You can't, you can't stop him. He knows even the fact that you're going to mess up. He knows the fact that you're going to hurt, hurt him. He knows the fact that you're going to get in trouble. He saw all this. And he made a way of provision through his son, Jesus Christ. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. But he just said she needed this this morning. But he just said I needed this this morning. Praise God. At least one person needed it. I bless God, even if it's for one person that needed this this morning, I would have come on here. You hear me? Because... I was supposed to do this from two years ago, and every time I pick up the phone to do this, something would fight me, don't it? Do you know that? I forget I even want to do it. Yes, I need to testify, prophet. Someone says she needs to testify. That means she have a testimony. Huh? Testify of what God has done for you. That's overcoming power, guys. The enemy wants you to shut up and wants you to be quiet concerning your testimony. Huh? Melvin Swan said, I needed this too. See, at least two people, at least two people said they wanted this and needed this. See, there's a difference between this coming on and I needed this. See, that's to him, that's food to soul. This is spiritual food to him. Michelle, Michelle Hussein said, I needed this. Amen? That means that they needed this. Eloise McKinsey said she needed this as well. See, you want people who are hungry for the word of God because they can take action. There are many people who say, this is, oh, this is, oh, you are right now. Oh, yeah, that's good. But they can take no action. 
See, God wants you to take action. He wants you to apply what you've learned. Priscilla says, yes. See, sometimes people don't recognize. And the Pak say, love this. There's a mighty woman of God. She's doing great work for the Lord. Uh, she's a serious soldier. God bless you, Lepak. And then God have some blessings in store for her as well. We already talked about that. She knows what I'm talking about. And so, in the right season, the right time, God will do this thing. Yvette Nutri say, I needed this prophet. See, when you need something and you know the word is on time, it's an on time word. It's a rhema word. It's alive to your spirit. And something you can get out of it. All right? Empowerment for me today. The Pak says, it's empowerment for her today. That means that God is doing something. With, 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 with her life and even just saying one or two things it might not have been nothing big it's probably nothing that you guys never hear before but it's reinforcement it's reinforcement alright sometimes all you do is reinforcement alright morning your, your, morning, your morning boost alright and so that's what God is doing in the season he's boosting you up in the morning and Suzanne Anderson said it's an on time word so we know that Suzanne appreciated the word alright God bless you Susan God bless all of you who made the comments. And I want you guys to share it. Share it as much as possible. Giselle Pelica, Pelica says, yes, reinforcement. Praise God for her. I bless God for all of you and I love you guys very much. And so I will see you guys later. And we will talk later, okay? God bless you. And um, we'll connect sometime this week. Amen.